In this video, I will be going through the changes on Combat Rogue and tell you exactly how to play the spec as of now in Cataclysm. The topics I'm going to be covering is the new talents and glyphs, gearing and stat priorities, revamped abilities, reforges, the new rotation, professions you should choose over others, and some tricks that I have to boost your DPS at the end of the video. Alright, for starters, this is the spec and glyphs that you're going to be playing with throughout the expansion. The glyphs don't have to be changed anymore, just like Rat, if you played that before. You can just stick to these six and never change them out, because changing glyphs doesn't really increase your DPS anymore, and none of them is actually good comparing to the six main ones, so just stick to them. And if you really want to be safe, you can swap the either tricks or gouge into feint for the progressions, so you can just spam it and survive the fights. So the few notable changes that combat has seen so far is Bandit Guile, Revealing Strikes which is a new ability that enhances your finisher abilities, Restless Blades, Savage Combat and Glyph of Gouge. So to make this completely simple and easy for you guys to understand, the Bandit Guile has three insights. It goes from green, yellow to red. The green is 10% DPS and it ramps up up to 30 which is red, but during green and yellow you can constantly refresh this buff until you gain the red one. By using Sinister and Revealing Strike, you have a chance at gaining the insights. The tooltip there is wrong, actually. It's not 100%, otherwise any rogue would just press the button and instantly gain 30%, which is not the case. I believe the correct tooltip is actually 30%, so don't get fooled by that one. For gear and stat priorities, the main goal for combat is the spell hit, melee hit, and expertise. Nothing else really matters here, besides the haste, of course, but in general, Agility is king, you wanna jam everything with agility, nothing else, unless the bonus is actually giving agility, like this helm right here, otherwise you don't wanna do that. Unlike subtlety and assassination, combat needs a balance of both hit and expertise, so you need to make sure that you at least have 15% spell hit because of the poisons doing a decent chunk of your damage, and 8% hit in general to never miss. So, for reforging, you want to use this add-on called Reforge Light Classic from Curseforge. I will link it down in the description. This add-on has presets of every spec for at least the next tier phases. I don't know why there isn't a tier 11 in it, but I guess whatever. It's really simple to fix it anyways. So basically what you want to do is add zero stat waste to everything besides hit and expertise, because these are the most important stats. And then right here, you want to have melee hit cap in priority, spell hit cap, and then dual will, because let's be honest, no one is going to be able to reach that anyways, unless you're going to grief yourselves, so don't do that. And then expertise cap, obviously, and have these ticked. It needs to be at least, not at most. Once you calculate, it gives you exactly what I have here right now, which is my set. So currently I have 9.4% hit chance, exactly the amount of expertise I need, a decent chunk of mastery and haste, and my spell hit cap is pretty much on the dot. This is an amazing quality of life, I suggest all of you using it. Without this, it's gonna take a long time to calculate everything and sim it, so this just makes everything easy and fast. Before any fight, you can just ask the healers to either heal you or anyone else, so you can get the 5 combo points on your target. And if you don't want to do that either, or premeditate, just target the bosses during trash packs in subtlety spec and just get the combo points from that. For the rotation, basically when you open on a target, you want to do either one sinister or revealing strikes for the SMD. From there, all you want to do is get the 5 combo points, instantly Use your trinket into killing spree, aldrin and rush, berserking if you have that, into rupture, and from there all you want to do is eviscerate until the red goil is out. Once the red goil is out, you want to do one rupture again, and then go back to normal. Here's an example of my rotation on a boss fight in the Blackwing Descent.
In Cataclysm, min-maxing professions isn't actually a big deal anymore, so you can just skip out on that if you really want to. But if you want a min-max, you can go ahead and have the materials for blacksmithing for the later patches, because the gem slot on Bracer and Glove is going to give you an advantage of maybe, I don't know, maybe like 15 edgy over other players. It's not as big, but it is a min-max that you can have. Currently, I'm playing with two rooks that are JC and Tailoring. The Tailoring Cloak enchant is only good when you have a really short fight, but in general, it's not that good because imagine landslide being on you the whole time during the raid while you have something else that gives it maybe for 10 seconds every minute. When you compare these two, obviously the landslide is much stronger and it's kind of a passive stat that you have throughout the whole fight. But the cloak enchant has a cooldown, so obviously you would prefer the passive stats from JC or blacksmithing. So in the new expansion, we have three new abilities, which is redirect, smoke bomb and combat readiness and the revamped ability that we have is blade flurry now this buff is permanent but it also has an energy reduction by 15 percent which we also have the glyph to reduce it even more so the topic for now is redirect you can use redirect on certain boss fights when maybe a boss is immune to damage now and you have three combo points with a red guile that you want to swap to something else the first thing you want to do is redirect on it and then sinister strike or anything else this way, you can just benefit from the guy that you already had and not waste your combo points. Here's an example. But anyways, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful and enlightened some people and you maybe learned from it. I will be doing the assassination and subtleties back as well. And if you really want to, I will do the commentary guides for Blackwing Descent, Throne of the Four Wind and Bastion of Twilight if you like this video. But that's it for me. I will see you guys in the next video.